away now. I don't know the words to the song. Hey, what's up everyone? It's your friendly neighborhood YouTuber guys, and guess what? We are back at it again with another toy review, and that's right, man. We got the Lion King. You're like, what? What? The Lion King? Wait a minute. What's going on here, friendly neighborhood YouTuber? You're doing a Lion King toy set for kids? Yeah, I'm trying to mix it up a little bit, guys. Um, yeah, you guys are probably accustomed to a lot of my horror horror figures, you know, that I've been doing throughout the month of October, which is I'm still doing the 31 days of Halloween. But I'm kind of taking a break from that, kind of lightening it up a little bit. I found this awesome 10-piece set at Walmart, and I wanted to pick it up because I thought it was cool. <laughs> so, I am, uh, I'm not a huge fan of Lion King, but I do appreciate the movie uh, itself. And, uh, yeah, you guys are probably accustomed to watching me do Predator figures and Spawn figures and Marvel Legend figures. Like I said, I'm trying to mix it up a little bit because there's been so many, you know, uh, uh, toy reviewers, you know, doing you know, reviews of the same old toys over and over and over again. So I'm trying to mix it up a little bit, guys. So, yeah, I found this awesome, awesome 10-piece uh, set at Walmart. It's the deluxe figure set. So it has pretty much all the, I think all the characters. Well, it's not all the characters, but it has your main characters. And I believe, I think that might be a young Simba. I think that's a young Simba. Here's a younger Simba. Here's his girlfriend, Nala, if I can remember the names. Uh, Puma, uh, Scar, I think this is the older... Uh, I don't know if that's Mufasa. Let me see right here. Let me look on the back. Whoops, my bad. Let me see. Oh, yeah, that is Mufasa. Okay, I thought it was like a younger version of uh, Simba, but it's actually, it is Mufasa. Okay, it has names right here on the back. I'm reading, I'm trying to guess the names like a dummy, and yeah... Uh, yeah, Nala has a young Nala, young Simba, Rafiki. I would never have guessed Rafiki. I, I was thinking of something else, uh, thinking of a different name. Timon, Pumbaa, and uh, yeah, Zazu. Did I mention Zazu? So yeah, guys, um, so stay tuned if you like The Lion King. If not, then I, I don't know what to tell you, man. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and take all these figures out the package. So we'll be back right after these messages. Okay, guys, we are back. All right. We have all the entire Animal Kingdom right here. Uh, right out the package, and we're going to review every single one of these characters, 10 to be exact. So you're getting 10 reviews for your money. How about that? How about that? Who else? Who else is reviewing 10 action figures all at one time? Right? 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 Okay, so let's see. We'll just start over here to the left. We'll take a look at the bad guy, the main guy himself. We got Scar right here. Looking pretty nice, man. I have to give it up. Uh, and this is by Mattel, if you guys are wondering. And he does have the walking <laughs> feature. The front legs. He's got front, front wheel drive. Nothing in the back. And uh, yeah, pretty, pretty nice, man. His legs are articulated. His legs right here, his tail is articulated, no head movement, no jaw movement. Scar is what he is. And yeah, this moves right here so you can get him to walk. Really, really like the Lion King. I, I haven't seen the live action version. If you guys if you guys have seen the live action version, let me know. Was it uh, was it as good as you thought? Was it better than the cartoon, than the animated movie? Uh, let me know, because uh, I, I definitely would like to see it. Same thing with Aladdin. If you guys have seen, being that we're on Disney, if you've guys seen the live-action version of this, uh, the Disney, live-action version of Aladdin, let me know if that rivals the animated one, the original version. So there is Scar, looking pretty, pretty nice. I like the detail of Scar. I like the green eyes on Scar. So there is Scar. So let's take a look at the babies. Little baby Nala and little baby Simba. <laughs> Aren't they so cute? Look at them. 
Look at them. They're so cute. And there is no articulation on these guys. These are more like a hard rubber plastic. I just can't wait to be king. It's been a while since I've seen The Lion King. I can't remember uh, a lot of the songs. I definitely would like to pick it up uh, and bring the movie home to watch it all over again. So there's their little kitty booties. So yeah, nothing, no articulation with them. We'll take a look at Simba, the older Simba. Look how handsome he looks. He looks like a handsome brute. And there's no uh, button on here for movement. So he just kind of walks and struts like so. That's his movement right there. His tail is not articulated, man. So this, they just kind of decided, yeah, we'll give uh, this lion that, this lion that, this lion that. But you guys are lying. You a lion. You a lion. <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that. But that's pretty much how what he does. He just moves back and forth, up, uh, back and forth, walking like the handsome stud that he is. And so there was uh, Grown Up Simba. Here is, uh, you know what, before we do that, let's take a look at his, uh, his main chick. We have the older Nala, and oh, the older Nala has no articulation at all, man. It's just, <laughs> what's, what's up, Mattel? You're supposed to give all the lines articulation, not just the ones of your choosing. So yeah, nothing with Nala. No movement with Nala nothing she is what she is she is here's the her with the uh younger version of nala of herself and that's pretty much it she doesn't have any articulation which sucks okay so we take a look at puma i guess that i guess they gave the figures the um certain figures articulation the ones they think that they would be played with the most i guess i don't know so we uh, we come to Puma here. Um, legs move back and forth. He can get the walking movement going on. Here is the open mouth. He does have articulation. Look at that. Uh, of course he has an open mouth. They better give Puma an open mouth. Because he likes to munch. There's Puma's booty. There's his tail, which is articulated. It can move up and down. Pretty, pretty cool. And then here is his buddy, uh, Simone, right? Am I saying that right? <laughs> Simone. Simone or Timon? Timon. No articulation. He's just a little rubbery guy. Sorry about that, guys. I'm trying to get a close-up view of Timon. There's his tail in the back. There's his rubber feet. He's rubber. He's not, he's not plastic. He's a rubber Timon. Okay, and here is, uh, let's take a look at Mufasa. So there's Mufasa looking, um, I don't know, I can't remember Mufasa, and he does have the walking action. Him and Scar are the only ones who have the walking action. His legs do move back and forth, his tail is articulated. There is Mufasa. Such a handsome guy, huh? And didn't they didn't they bring back James Earl Jones for the live action movie? I mean, James Earl Jones has like a, a one of a kind voice, man. I mean, you know, the voice of Darth Vader, the voice of Mufasa, the voice of CNN. This is CNN. And uh, yeah, I mean, how who else can you get to replace James Earl Jones' voice? You can't really. So there was I I, I, just, I don't I don't know if that's correct or not but uh, yeah let me know in the comments guys if it is so here's Zazu looking very Zazu esque and he is rubber he's a rubber bird he's a rubber chicken there's him flapping his wings I apologize for the light coming in through my window it's like messing up my reviews but there is the detail 
yeah, nice little detail for this uh, rubberized Zazu. And this right here, Rafiki. I remember, I remember his name, Rafiki. Uh, this is rubber, rubber bendable. He is eh, kind of like a hard rubber. There's no articulation on uh, Rafiki at all, but a very nicely done Rafiki. Okay, guys, um, it's a very, very nice set. Let's move it over here. It's a very, very nice set. Um, you know, it, it depends on how big of a Lion King fan you are. Do I recommend these pieces? Listen, there are some... I, I wish all these uh, little uh, figures were articulated. And also, this one right here, Nala, is the only lion that is not articulated. I don't know why. I wish the figures were a little bit more articulated. You know, out the door, this cost me 30 bucks. Is it worth thirty dollars? I don't know, man. I, I I I don't really think so. I think you guys should wait until this uh, drops down in price. I don't think it's worth thirty dollars. I think it's like around worth twenty dollars. Um, they just came out, so expect for them to drop down in price. Now, if you guys want to know the measurements, I don't know if you guys want to know the measurements. The height, the highest. Uh, I'll just measure uh, old uh, older Simba. So he stands about four and a half inches. So that gives you. Uh, an idea of how big the figures are. So that's the biggest one for a young Simba right here. Or older Simba, should I say. Here's a young Simba. The the smallest one is probably uh, Zazu, which he stands not even an inch. Not even an inch. So yeah, that gives you an idea of the heights, the sizes of Lion King. Okay, guys, so... I'm going to go ahead and rate this set. I, I'm kind of a little bit disappointed because the lack of articulation in a lot of these figures, even though they're small figures, I feel like they could have done a lot more with them. The paint apps are nice. They're not great. Um, like I said, for $30, it's not worth it. Um, I, I wouldn't recommend it. If you're a Lion King fan, then you're probably going to pick this up, this set up. Um, but on a, scale, on a scale from 1 to 10, with 10 being the highest, I'm definitely going to have to give them a 6. A 6 out of 10, man. Uh, I, I don't recommend this set. Even if you are like a really hardcore Lion King fan, I don't, I don't know if you guys would like this or not. You know, I expected a little bit more from this set. But I think I'm going to definitely give it a pass. Uh, if you're a Lion King fan and if you don't mind spending $30 on a 10-piece set, then that's on you. But I don't really recommend this set. Um, nice figures overall. Pretty nice paint apps. Could be a little bit better for 30 bucks. Um, disappointed with a little bit of the articulation some of these figures have, or the lack of articulation, I should say. So we'll go ahead and leave it at that, guys. Tell me what you guys think of this Lion King set. Do you guys like it? Do you guys plan on picking it up? If the price drops, do you plan on picking it up? I suggest waiting until the price pick, uh, drops. So, there you guys have it. There was my little review of the Lion King Deluxe set. If you like this little review, hit the like button, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. If you want to receive more cool, lackluster reviews like this, <laughs> there you guys have it. I just want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next review. Bye!